MustangMedic.com. We show you everything from point A to point B, day one to day soul. So enjoy and thanks for watching. <laughs> MustangMedic.com We work on, buy, sell, restore, and most of all, love your Mustang. MustangMedic.com We take the frustration out of restoration. Here it is, the 2001 Mustang Cobra SVT for sale. Happy Friday to you guys. Uh, it's another uh, day in the life of Mustang Medic. It's Friday. Viewer warning, this is just me talking and giving you a backdrop story to the Cobra project. So if you don't want to hear me talk, click to the next link and watch the next video and you'll see the Cobra. And uh, we got home last night. I was like, oh, I got to get the keys to the shop. So I went to the house, stopped the Cobra, got out, came back, started to drive away, and she cut off. Going around a turn. Low fuel light came on. And then apparently no gas. We checked the pressure and she had fuel uh, line pressure but then what we did was we got in the car, closed the windows and listened very carefully in a quiet area and found that the fuel pump is not going you know you normally turn the key on your Cobra or on your Mustang, a modern Mustang and you can hear the electric fuel pump by the gas tank. No such case with uh, this um, Cobra unfortunately so it appears that we've either blown a fuse on the fuel pump, we pray it's that simple. Um, if not, it's a fuel pump and it needs to get replaced on her. Um, so we're either we're gonna either gonna change the fuse out and go, yay, today, or we're gonna go eh, and tow her back from our house to the shop and then uh, raise her up, get her fuel pump off and uh, replace her so she's running. So the good news is she'll have a, a brand new fuel pump or the good news is she'll be running fine with just a, a simple fuse problem. So the fuse, uh, with a simple fuse change. So that is a day in the life. You never know what you're going to get. She ran great. She runs strong. She's a, a, a really tight handling, beautiful Cobra that is worth every penny of 16.5 in my opinion. So this is what you get. You just never know. You have to understand, guys. This is something I got to explain. And I was talking. I think I was talking to Doug about it. Mustangs, you know. A car is kind of like a boat, especially the older Mustangs, because it's you got to tinker with them. You have to tinker with them. The more modern Mustangs, very rare. You know this fuse thing or this fuel pump thing. You know what are you what are you gonna do? You change it. It breaks. You change it. But with the with the earlier Mustangs, if you get it, there's gonna be stuff to repair. It is not a new car in a you know 65, 66, 67 Mustang. There's always gonna be work to be done. So. That is the life of restoration. That is the life of a hobby of owning a, a classic car and uh, a performance car. So it's all good, and uh, we will prevail. All right. Next clip you're going to see is uh, us looking at fuses and figuring out which one is the fuel. We found that it actually runs off a relay, not a fuse. So we're after the relays. Diagnosing why is she not getting fuel? Almost positive it's, it's fuel because. I try to, the pump's not going on, you can't hear it, and two, every once in a while you'll, you'll get a little, like it has got a little bit of gas going in, so she's just getting choked off, no fuel. Fuel pump. They're not cheap, unfortunately, for these, for these cars. MustangMedic.com. This is in from Michael Wright out there in Europe, and he's a guy that watches all of our numbers and our benchmarks and always makes me aware of them. By the way, Michael, I am finally going to get that 1,800 subscribers one up. I'll do it in the next video. <laughs> I think I've done seven since you told me about it. Okay. Thank you very much, sir, for everything you do in the videos. The entertainment, tips, and advice. Small effort for great pleasure to return the favor. We do it all for the same purpose, keeping the ponies on the road. Thanks. Thanks, Michael. And uh, I appreciate you and your interest in what we do. I went to the shop early morning. You probably tell by the way I'm talking that I'm not quite awake yet. But I got my McDonald's coffee, so I'll be like in about five minutes. Uh, we're going to just uh, – we got um, – one of our clients is coming over. Uh, we're going to have a little surprise car. We're going to have another car that's for sale that's coming in, and potentially a third one um, tomorrow. Um, I promised I wasn't going to talk about future projects until they're actually here. Let's just say that a car is coming our way right now. That's actually happening at this moment. Um, 
a lot of talks about a lot of other cars. Uh, so you're going to see the, 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 you know, you see everything, the good, the bad, the ugly, so you know what you're getting at Mustang Medic. So we get her back, we drive her, strong, all last night, drop by the house, doesn't run. We're going to go go back right now, we're going to see if a fuse is obvious, if it's a fuse specifically to the fuel pump, uh, Nick's, um, on the impression it's not, I, I think it is, we're going to do a little investigation, and we're going to see if we can find a fuse. If the fuse is uh, not burned out, and it's most likely the pump, the pump's not turning on, we don't hear it when we turn the key, it's not getting power right now. Uh, we're going to tow her back uh, here and fix the fuel pump, and she's up for sale, guys, 16.5, with a new fuel pump. If not, just a new fuse, and everything's fine. So, <laughs> thanks for watching. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get with any car. Any car. It's a machine. There's a lot of moving parts. So, <laughs> what we do is we show you guys everything so you know what you're getting. And this is a 2001 Cobra. That's tight. MustangMedic.com Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com We take the frustration out of restoration. MustangMedic.com